Hello, Namaste. Welcome to my channel, KN Class. Today's topic is the rest part of the mycology, part 2. In part 1, I had described about the what is mycology, its classification and laboratory diagnosis with some important written and the viva question. The medical students of fourth year in Bangladesh are the student studying the microbiology. Please view my part 1. It's very important. The link will be given in my description. Thank you. So, clinical classification according to the sites that is superficial fungi, cutaneous fungi, subcutaneous fungi, systemic or deep fungi, and opportunistic fungi with, with their fungal agent and diseases they produce. So, today's topic is superficial fungal agent. As I already said, I had described in part 1 what are the fungal agent and its diseases. So, today's main topic is among the superficial fungi. We will be reading about the teriosis vesicular or tenia vesicular and black pedra and white pedra. So the principle for the diagnosis of the superficial fungal agent are the it is based on the demonstration of the fungal structure in the specimen by the microscopic examination after dissolving the specimen in the alkaline solution like the potassium hydroxide or in short KOH. As we take the specimen from the skin and skin contains the keratin layer so it need to be removed to uh, see the fungal growth in the microscope easily so we dissolve the specimen in the alkaline solution the potassium hydroxide which is kerat keratophilic sorry uh, keratolytic so it makes the specimen clear for the microscopic examination uh, in this case specimen is the skin scarping Microscopic examination, a drop of 20% potassium hydroxide in the scrapping material on the slide, covered with the cover slip, then slightly heated the slide, examined under the microscope. Then what we see is the observation, the cluster of the yellow cell, yeast cells, sorry, yeast cells, cluster of the yeast cells, like grapes, grapes like appearance, angur, the middle, in the figure you can see the middle grapes like portion is the cluster of the yeast cells, and the dense meshwork of short non septed elongated hyphae. In the side of the grapes like appearance, there is the long dense meshwork of the short non septate elongated hyphae. The hyphae is elongated and non septate. Okay, then in culture, usually not needed, but if needed, culture is done in the severus dexterous agar media at 22 to 25 degrees Celsius for 3 to 4 weeks. Examine the culture media every 3 to 4 days. The culture is uh, same for all the fungus. Uh, which is done in the sebrous dextrose agar media at 22 to 25 degrees celsius at room temperature for 3 to 4 weeks about teriosis vesicolor malassezia furfur is the superficial fungal agent the disease produced by the malassezia furfur is called the tenia vesicolor uh, teriosis vesicolor the predisposing factor mainly it occurs in the summer as it is hot and humid climate increased sweating hormonal changes more in the adolescence properties of the lessons superficial skin infection, hyperpigmented patch, large scaling or itching, more in the hot and humid weather, manifest at one site but agent remains all over the body. Next, laboratory diagnosis of the teriosis vesicular, same as we take the KOS preparation, we make the uh, microscopic examination after the KOS preparation, then observation we see the cluster of the yeast cell like the grapes like appearance, same as the above, culture same, uh, usually not done, treatment, tropical, Mykonazole or antifungal drugs for viva. It does not grow on the severus dextrose agar media. The uh, Malassezia furfur or the superficial fungi usually does not go, grow well at the severus dextrose agar media. So the synthetic the media is prepared by adding the butter or the olive oil in it where the fungus grow well. Pydra. It is one type of the superficial fungal disease types black pydra and white pydra. Black pedra, it is the nodular infection of the hair shaft caused by the pedra horti. White pedra, it presents as large, softer, yellowish nodule on the hair caused by the trichosporium cutaneum. Black, black pedra is called by the, you, you need to know the causative agent of the black pedra and the white pedra and where it infects. So the black pedra, it in, uh, is causative agent is the pedra horti, white pedra, trichosporium cutaneum and black pedra infects the nodular infection of the hair shaft whereas white pedra present as the large softer yellowish nodule on the hairs. Diagnosis Examination of the shaft of the hair 
treatment removal of the hair and application of the tropical antifungal drug we can see the white or yellowish nodules in the hair shaft and in the side video there you see the large nodular infection of the hair shaft now next cutaneous and the subcutaneous mycosis cutaneous fungi they infect the skin and skin appendages like the nail and the hair it is seen as i have already uh, said my part one video is all about the classification so in this part two i will not be about stating about the classification so please the link is been given in my description so from among the cutaneous and subcutaneous mycosis the main important topics are the dermatophytes and the mycetoma or madurella foot dermatophytes dermatophytes are the group of the fungi which are keratinophilic and has the ability to infect the skin and the skin appendages like the hair and the nail so they are the keratinophilic means they love the keratin layer of the skin so they are usually the subcutaneous fungi so properties or features of the dermatophytes are the they are keratinophilic so they infect the keratin containing tissue like the skin nail and the hair utilize the keratin for the metabolism cannot grow at 37 degrees celsius so they do not produce any systemic diseases they cannot grow in serum the, the deep fungi or the systemic fungi only produces the diseases systemically clinical types according to the site of infection tinea capitis means the tinea of the scalp and the hair from above to downward then tinea corporis tinea of the skin of the trunk and the limbs tinea chloris tinea of the groin or jock itch tinea pedis tinea of the feet athlete foot tinea unguinum tinea of the nail oncomycosis tinea barbi tinea of the beard genus as i have already said uh, but the special species example are the trichophytans which infects the skin hair and the nail are the trichophytans rubrum t tonsurans t mentagro first t stands for trichophytans epidermophytans e flocosum which infects the skin and the nail microsporian sporium m canis and gypsum clinical questions a middle aged man from the rural, rural area come to you with a large rounded itchy scaly and eruptive lesions over his back the middle aged man from the rural area means he is he may be the uh, farmer who who has the direct contact with the soil and come to you with a large rounded itchy scaly and eruptive lesion over his back that is tinea corporis as the lesion is in his back if it was in his leg then it could be tinea pedis similarly according to the site laboratory diagnosis diagnosis where where the infection occurs we take the sample from specific portion so diagnosis is based on the demonstration of the fungal structure and the specimen by the microscopic examination and isolation and identification of the fungus from culture steps specimen for the skin scarping nail clipping hair plucking the keratin in the nail is more than that of the skin so during the microscopic examination we dissolve the specimen in the potassium hydroxide hydroxide solution for skin is 10% for hair is 20% and for nail is 40% for at least 10 hour findings skin and the nail we get the septed hypi with the orthospore and in hair we find the exothrix and endothrix exothrix means the fungal spore outside the hair shaft and endo means inside so fungal spore inside the hair shaft the below figure shows the septed hyphae with the orthospore hyphae with the orthospore and the clinical finding we see the tinea as the ringworm and the uh, the sample is being sample is taken from the periphery not from the center as the more chance of the fungus is in the periphery than that of the center isolation and identification from the isolation and the identification from the culture specimen is incubated in the several textures of our media at 25 to 30 degrees celsius room temperature same as above and naked eye examination we find color as green red white and brown texture cottony powdery 
and velvety appearance. Microscopic examination from the colony we find the microconidia and macroconidia. So the below figure shows the microsporium species, trichophyton species. The mic macroconidium is larger, whereas microconidium is thinner. So difference between microconidia and the mac microconidia are the macro, large, thick, walled, and divided into many cells by the transverse septa tends to be spindle or board shaped whereas microconidia is relatively few or absent if present they are tear shaped and bones singly on the hyphae few or absent in some species if present they are elongated and cigar or pencil shaped the wall are thin and the smooth divided by septa, septa into 3 to 8 cells microconidia usually numerous and bones slightly along the hyphae or in the grapes like cluster they have a figure such the grave like cluster a 30 years old man clinical question a 30 years old man presented with the annular and the erythematous lesions with itching on the chest for one month that is ringworm provisional diagnosis short note on mycetoma it is the chronic granulomatous disease of the subcutaneous and the deep tissue characterized by the progressive destruction of the tissue and loss of the function of affected sites as mycetoma is the chronic granulomatous disease of subcutaneous and deep tissue characterized by the progressive destruction of the tissue and loss of the function of the affected site mode of transmission through the wounds from the swell so sites are the foot lower extremities hands and any exposed area agents are the in case of fungus it is medullarella mycetomatis in case of bacteria it is actinomycetes most common pathogenesis organisms enter through the wound from the soil then it multiplies and produces the localized chronic granuloma, formation of the subcutaneous nodules, then formation of the abscess, discharge of the pus through the, through the sinuses, pus contains compact color granules. Laboratory diagnosis. Principle are the diagnosis is based on the demonstration of the causative organism by the microscopic examination. We usually see the uh, which, uh, if it is caused by the fungus or bacteria. So causative organism is the foremost duty of our diagnosis main focus will be on the finding the causative organism so specimen is pause as the pause is discharged from the affected area we take the pause then microscopic examination then we see the granules are separated from the pause and crossed or dissected and examined under the microscope then finding we get in case of fungus is the septate hyphae Whereas in case of the bacteria, we get the filamentous bacteria. Now treatment, if in case of fungi, fungus, then antifungal drugs is given and surgical debridement of the necrotized tissue. In case of bacteria, we give the antibiotic, that is tetracycline. Tip or the systemic fungal agent. Among these, the important is the histoplasmosis. So laboratory diagnosis of mycosis in a whole in at once we say mycosis this spore are the mycosis so their findings are first of all we take the specimen that is the sputum tissue biopsy biopsy buffy coat of the blood blood more bone marrow aspiration then microscopic examination stain with the gymsa stain or the lisman stain so findings are in case of histoplasma are the small ovoid cell or yeast cells in the cytoplasm of the mononuclear cells and endothelial cells as it is the deep fungi or the systemic fungi so it is engulfed by the mononuclear cells cochidiomycosis spherules are seen in the tissue specimen in case of histoplasm histopathological test we see the spherules paracochidiomycosis yeast cells with the multiple buds are seen in the pores or tissues blastomycosis thin walled yeast cells with the single broad based buds are seen isolation and the identification from the culture same as above we do the severus dextrus agar culture findings histoplasmosis hyphae with the tuberculate macroconidia cochidiomycosis hyphae with the arthrospore paracochidiomycosis thin walled yeast with the multiple buds blastomycosis hyphae with the small pure shaped conidia opportunistic mycosis opportunistic fungal agent among this the importance are the candida albicans, cryptococcus neoformans, and in some case, uh, aspergillus fumigatus, which causes the fungal disease, which, um, uh, which is the important question for the viva. 
and pneumocystic carini which causes the pneumonia in the immunocompromised patient so we go for the canida canida is an opportunistic fungal agent disease caused by the canida is the candidiasis species is very easy to remember candida albicans most common 90 percent candida tropicalis glabatra pseudotropicalis and the habitat are the it remains as a normal flora of the skin and the mucous membrane of the GIT, respiratory tract and female genital tract. Properties Morphology It is an yeast like opportunistic fungus, round or the oval in shape, reproduces by boarding, take gram stain and it is gram positive, only the fungus that takes the gram stain, produces the pseudo hyphae. Importance Candida albicans can cause the systemic candidiasis in the immunocompromised individuals. They can cause the superficial candidiasis in the healthy individual, whereas the local immunity is somehow suppressed or disturbed. So, it can cause the systemic candidiasis in the immunocompromised individual, like the diabetes patient, AIDS patient, the predisposing factor I will be stating later on. The pathological condition disease produced by the candida albicans are the Superficial or the cutaneous or mucosal candidiasis are the oral thrust in the mouth, moniliasis or vaginal candidiasis, thick cordy like fluid comes out through the vagina of the um, girl affected with the candidiasis, cutaneous candidiasis, particularly in the moist sites like the axilla or the groin, nail lesions, paranoia, and onychomycosis. External ear otomycosis. Systemic candidiasis occurs in the immunocompromised person and intravenous drug effusion as it is the normal flora of the skin. So, meningitis, endocarditis, septicemia, osophagitis, chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis. And predisposing factor of the candidiasis are any condition which causes the immunosuppression is a predisposing factor for the candidiasis. Example, immunodeficiency disease like the AIDS. Malignancy, Bro drugs like the broad spectrum antibiotics, steroids, anti cancer drugs, prolonged use of the contraceptive pills, that broad spectrum antibiotics clears the normal flora of the uh, sites, so opportunistic infection occurs. Endocrine diabetes mellitus, physiologic like the pregnancy, extreme age, old age, and infancy, traumatic bone or maceration, other indwelling catheters. Risk factors for the monoliasis are the vaginal candidiasis, loss of acid pH of the vagina, diagnosis of the candidiasis. Steps First of all, we take the specimen, depends upon the site of infection. If in the mouth, then they swab from the surface lesion, scrapping from the surface lesion in case of cutaneous candidiasis, and sputum from the throat, exudates. Then vaginal swab in case of vaginal candidiasis or monoliasis. Then microscopic examination in case of the skin scrapping. Preparation of the film by the same as the above, 20% of potassium hydroxide preparation. In case of other specimen, wet film preparation with the normal slime. Findings. On a stand, yeast and the pseudo hyphae are seen as the below figure shows the yeast like cells, pseudo hyphae, chlamydospore and blastospore. And in case of gram stain, we see the it is a gram positive it takes the stain isolation and the identification from the culture same method culture several textures of our media at 37 degrees Celsius in this case we do at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 to 48 hours findings naked eye cream colored colony with the 48 within 48 hours microscopic yeast like with or without the pseudo hyphae some tube test method is also been done like the small amount of the specimen from the growth of the culture is taken mixed with the 0.5 ml of human serum incubated at 37 degrees celsius for 2 to 4 hours then examine under the microscope we see the tube like outgrowth of the yeast are found biochemical ferments the glucose and the maltose but not the lactose clinical questions a diabetic woman which is immunocompromised Presented with the complaint of the vaginal discharge and itching. On examination, the vaginal on examination the discharge was found discharge was, was found thick, cord like, cheesy appearance, not firmly adherent to the vaginal worm wall. Example vaginal candidiasis or moniliasis. Cryptococcus neoformans. Cryptococcus neoformans 
is an opportunistic fungal agent properties. It is the only capsulated fungus, round or oval in shape. It is not dimorphic, that is, no mold forms. Diseases Cryptococcus, Cryptococcal meningitis, asymptomatic lung infection, skin and the bone marrow infection. Pathogenesis of the Cryptococcal meningitis, in inhalation of the Cryptococcus neoformans, infection of the lungs, dissemination occurs in immunocompromised patients, goes to the central nervous system, causing meningitis. Laboratory diagnosis, it is most important, Cryptococcus neoformans, as it is only the capsulated fungus, so it is usually actin viva. So specimen we take the, as it causes the meningitis, so specimen should be cerebrospinal fluid, serum of the patient and the sputum. Microscopic examination, Indian ink preparation. Then we see the round or the oval yeast cells surrounded by the wide unstained capsule. As the Indian ink does not stain the capsule, so it leaves the white unstained capsule area. Culture, same as 37 degrees Celsius, as it is the systemic fungus. Finding cream colored mucoid colony, as it is in the figure I have shown. Cream colored colony, mucoid colony. Serology, CSF or the serum for the antigen or antibody latex agglutination test. Diseases produced by the aspergillus. Infection of the skin, eye, ear, and the other organs. Fungal word ball in the lungs. Allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. Remember, pneumocystic carini is classified as the fungal yeast on the basis of the molecular analysis, but medically it is still considered as the member of protozoa. Pneumocystic carini is the cause of pneumonia in the AIDS patient. Fungal ball in the lungs. The aspergillioma is a clump of molds which exist in the body cavity such as a paranasal sinus or an organ such as the lungs mainly affects the people with the underlying cavitated lungs disease such as the tuberculosis, sarcoidosis, bronchiectasis, cystic fibrosis and systemic immunodeficiency. So it mainly occurs in the patient with the tuberculosis and we diagnose this by the Ig antibody test, Ig level rises and chest x-ray. Please like, share and subscribe my channel for further more videos. Thank you for watching.